Ciao guys and welcome back, I'm Luca and in today's video we're gonna examine it how the IBIS of the Lumix S cameras performs both with stabilized lens and lenses that don't have stabilization. To make it a little bit interesting, I'm filming it with the 24105 f4 from Panasonic against my set of Leica R lenses. So the 24, 35, 50 and 90 millimeters plus a 21 millimeter from Zeiss for, yeah, to have a little bit of wider perspective. Because with that lens, it's gonna be a little bit more noticeable the problem of warping edges with uh, cameras that have strong eyepiece. In this video, I'm gonna use just the Panasonic Lumix S1 with the camera strap, both for the uh, walking video and the revealing shot video. For the vlog test, I'm gonna just hold the camera with my hand because I consider that this camera is already pretty heavy uh, without a tripod and I don't think it's convenient to add extra weight with a tripod so if you are brave enough to do vlogs with the Lumix S1 or S1H I recommend you to subscribe to the gym at least one month before because the whole system is uh, pretty heavy so if you are a vlogger I recommend you to use the Lumix S5 because that camera is way lighter but consider that we have the problem that we don't have a stabilized ultra wide angle lens for the L mount alliance. I have no clue why Panasonic didn't release yet this type of lens because uh, the warping edge problem is a huge problem for vloggers that make the footage totally unusable. So I hope Panasonic will release something thinking about vloggers soon and not telephoto lenses that nobody cares about. We are all on YouTube somehow. So at the end of the video, you're gonna have a better idea in how the IBIS of this camera perform and if it's convenient or not to buy a stabilized lens for this camera system. And you're gonna see the differences between modern glass against the vintage glass to make it a little bit more interesting. Personally, I like more the vintage glass, but your eyes can judge way better. So let's have a look together at the test footage with some nice music. Now every evening, I'm taking pictures of her cruising down the pavement And I don't hate it, sunshine or raining She out there rolling on four wheels like she's famous What makes us think, bro? 
to know my opinion I can tell you that if you have experience in uh, handheld camera movements and techniques you probably don't need a stabilized lens you can just stick with uh, lenses that don't have stabilization because uh, yeah we know how to operate the camera to avoid micro shakes but if you are not so experienced about handheld camera moves and techniques and you are used to work just with the gimbal I would recommend you to get the 24105 f4 if you are thinking to work mainly handheld because uh, this lens helps you a lot to avoid the problem of uh, warping edges. If you would like some help regarding handheld camera movements or techniques, let me know in the comment below if you would like to see a tutorial regarding this topic because I would really like to help you out in this. And if you click the like button while you go down, I would really appreciate that. Thanks guys. But this is it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video because I really enjoyed to make it and thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time, ciao! And if you like to slow down your 4K footage, soon I will release a new video where I sort of fake 4K 60 frames with every camera that I'm able to record 4K 30 frames per second. So if you like a super slow motion in 4K, stick around and you will see what you can do most.